Hello, Posh Nation. I have a tan. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I've been on here to talk to you guys. Life has been busy. My farm keeps growing. <laughs> but I have a really exciting video for you today because I spent last week in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I was on a posh incentive trip with a bunch of top performing posh consultants and I had the time of my life. I wanted to pop on and give you guys a little recap of the trip and just kind of tell you the exciting things that we did. And I also want to show you my room drop. Room drops, I mean, I don't know if they're an actual exclusive thing to perfectly posh trips, but it is definitely a tradition. And every single time you go on a posh incentive trip, you look forward to those room drops like nobody's business. Just, you know, a secret little drop off at your hotel room while you're out and about that you come back to. Who doesn't want prizes on their bed when you get back? Anyway, I had a super great time. I just got home yesterday, so that's why my voice is not at 100% and I'm wearing a bathrobe and I barely brushed my hair, but I got a tan. <laughs> so before I, um, you know, set up all the stuff to record this video for you, I actually took some notes. I went through my camera roll and took some notes as to what we did each day so I wouldn't forget anything. And I'm actually going to try to splice in some photos and videos from my trip into this so you're not actually just staring at my face the whole time. Actually took a friend with me, shout out to Katie Neeson for being my roommate. She is a really fabulous roommate because she deals with me fluttering around talking to all the people just fine and she's not too needy so it's okay when I get up at 7 a.m and kind of poke her awake to take me to breakfast. So Katie and I arrived one day early. If you are a posh incentive trip earner, it is always the best if you can manage to get there one day early. I mean, let's not fool ourselves. I just like to extend my vacation anytime possible. Because I did get there one day ahead of everybody else, it was a nice low key night. I was able to go to sleep at a nice reasonable time and wake up at the crack of dawn so that I could go outside and watch the sunrise. So I got up what I thought would be for sunrise. Turns out I was about one hour early because I am a super early riser, but it was okay because it was an absolutely glorious sky. The way that the stars were shining down in Cabo was just much brighter than I have ever seen here. <laughs> I don't know why. Is that a thing? Are stars brighter some places than others? I don't know, but the stars were crazy bright. See how crazy bright the stars were. This was at like 6 a.m. Anyway, so while I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the sun to rise, I decided to start roaming the resort so I could kind of see, you know, the layout of everything. Oh God, somebody's at my door. Hold on. Okay, where was I? Oh, okay, so <clears throat> so I walked down, uh, I walked around the resort, I walked down towards the beach, and every single time we go on one of these trips, almost every time they have a swing bar, you know, like a bar by the beach with swings, and I just want a cute picture on a beach swing. Well, a bar swing at the beach. Anyway, so I set up my little camera on a timer and tried to get my own beach swing picture, and I'll put that here for you guys to see. It's just a super cute situation. It's not my favorite picture, but whatever. So Monday was arrivals day, and so I got up early. I got to see the stars. I got to get my beach swing picture. I got breakfast, and then I spent all day in the reception area receiving the postures. I will say, I've been on many posh trips. Somebody asked me how many posh trips I've been on, and I literally do not know. It's been a lot. <laughs> I've been poshing for like six years, so I've been on a lot, a lot, a lot of trips. However, this trip we had, I think like 70 attendees and I knew less than 10 of them. So that is very different for me. Usually I know almost everybody or at least a great majority of the people. So I was super excited to spend all day at reception so that I could meet and greet all of the poshers and say, hello, I'm Jessica. <laughs> I think I might have been a little bit much for some of them because it was a lot of their very first trips, but whatever. I just wanted everybody to feel welcomed and be super excited for the week ahead of us. Everybody arrived by, I don't know, like 4 p.m. ish, I think. And then our welcome 
cocktail reception was to kick off at 5.30. Now, quick note on that. I have been on a bazillion tea incentive trips and never once has every single person arrived before the welcome dinner. Usually somebody is stuck with some flight delay or cancellation or whatever and it's just so awful. But this time, every single one of us was there in time for our welcome cocktail party. So that was really exciting. So 5.30, we kick off the welcome cocktail party. We're just mingling around. It was gorgeous, like the most picturesque sunset happening. They had set up these tables that were decorated just so freaking beautiful. I will insert some pictures here so you guys can see. And then we had a surprise. Now I tend to be a flutterer and I heard a little secret conversation going on earlier that day and I had butted my head in and so I knew about the surprise that was coming. So that worked out really well because I was able to go live on Facebook and capture it for a whole bunch of other people to see. Our number one incentive earner on this trip was Caitlin Lilly. Shout out to Caitlin, congratulations on being number one again. Now, Caitlin prides herself on not being surprised basically ever and so she had earned a guest and so her boyfriend came with her. She didn't know he was going to propose. Spoiler alert, he proposes. <laughs> so we brought, we, Posh brought Caitlin up to the front and told her that they had a surprise for her for being number one and to please put a blindfold on. So she puts her blindfold on, he comes up, they hand him the mic and then he starts talking and she was so freaking cute. She like flips off the blindfold and was like. <laughs> you got a if you can see underneath, you gotta like add your pants. No. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> okay, can we bring out Caitlin's surprise? It's so pretty. <gasps> oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> hey, babe. <laughs> you are my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't want to spend any other day with anyone but you. Posh trips are just so, so super special. I mean, think about the ultimate girls trip, only instead of like five friends, you have 65 friends. It's truly amazing. Okay, where was I? Oh, welcome dinner. Okay, so after the welcome dinner, which was truly amazing food, and oh, by the way, there was a churro cart, and I was too busy chit-chatting it up, and I missed the churros, and I don't think I will ever forgive myself for that because everybody was talking about the churros for the remainder of the week. So if you know where to get good churros, let me know because I missed out. After the welcome dinner, there was a fire show. So every single night at the resort, they had some kind of different entertainment and the entertainment was like really freaking cool. So one night there was a fire show. Well, I guess I'll tell you as they go. There was a circus show another night. There was um, a cabaret dance performance another night. Anyway, super fun entertainment. after party. I always try to book a really big suite so that I can invite people back to my room and that way I'm really close to my bed. When the party's over I get to go directly into bed after I wash my face and brush my teeth. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday was a fun day. So Monday night lots of people obviously were a little bit tired because they had been traveling all day but Tuesday everybody woke up raring to go. So Tuesday morning we went on a beach walk. <laughs> I'm awful glad I switched to video for that. <laughs> Shout out to our friends, Janelle and Cheryl, for inviting everybody on the beach walk, which we were told was, you know, about a 10 to 15 minute walk down the beach to this little playita, which is Spanish for small beach. I don't know if it's official Spanish, but that's what the tour guide told us. 
Mexican, Spanish, you know, Playita. Anyway, that's where we went. So we were told it was a 10 to 15 minute walk. And so there were 24 of us that gathered for this beach walk. Spoiler alert, it was actually a beach hike slash explore. It was a long walk. It was pretty arduous at some points, um, but it was super duper fun. So Mimo, shout out to Guillermo. I can't roll my... I can't, Guillermo. Anyway, we called him Mimo. Shout out to him. We were the largest beach walk crew that he had ever had. And bless his heart, did he have his hands full. <laughs> Nevertheless, we made our way down the beach. We scaled up the rocks that we had to scale up. We made it past the big wave portion where you have to kind of walk briskly through before the wave takes you back out. <laughs> And we got to the Playita and it was a really cute little beach. The Playita is the place that it's super safe to swim all the time. Our resort was on a beautiful beach, not super safe for swimming because the waves were pretty intense and there is an undertow that can happen, but they always had a lifeguard out there and they always had a flag so you knew what kind of um, conditions you were dealing with. And I do happen to know a couple of my friends went in the water in the late night hours and thank god they did not die because that seems like it would have been dangerous but anyway memories so tuesday when we got back from our beach walk slash hike situation we had a cabana day so posh had rented these three beach cabanas that were situated up on this platform overlooking the ocean for the entire week so they were at our disposal whenever we wanted and that particular day, they brought down some products for us to see and check out. And then they um, reserved the beach volleyball court. Now, you guys, I don't have any pictures from beach volleyball, but I know the photographer took some. So stay tuned later and I will share them. It was so much fun. Like I was very scared. I actually played volleyball in high school, but that was 20 years ago, more than more than 20 years ago. However, it was so much freaking fun and the sand was perfect. It was like nice and thick and soft. So like when I dove for the ball or just fell, it was a nice soft landing. Oh my God, so much fun. However, trying to jump in sand, that was fun. I thought I was getting like so much height and then it was like, ink. <laughs> Beach volleyball was a, a ton of fun. I, it was so much fun, I can't wait. Anyway, it was fun. Moving on. Uh, okay, so beach volleyball. I don't really know what happened after beach volleyball. I guess we just mulled around, la la la, went to dinner. Circus show was on Tuesday night and the circus show was freaking cool. So it was in this room. I mean, there were maybe, I don't know, 30 people in the audience, maybe 40 people in the audience, but they were super safe. COVID spread out, la la la, everybody wear your masks, small groups more than six feet in between the groups of chairs. So you were just with your people and the performers were just outstanding. There was a contortionist and a juggler and a ring aerial lady. And, um, oh my God, there was a dude that was just crazy. I don't even know what it's called, but he had these two little pegs he put his hands on and then he would do like Stand, you know, handstands and sideways and just hold one peg. And I'm not doing a good job explaining it. Hopefully I have a video for you. <laughs> but the circus show was really cool. And then of course we had another after party. And at this after party, I busted out prototypes. If you're a poshy person, then this gets you excited. And don't worry, posh people. I did get permission from home office that I could share these. These were prototypes that had been shared with me um, in the last couple of months for potentially new products that are coming and yeah i got permission to share them and it was so funny because we're all having a great time after party i brought some speakers so we had uh, music and then as soon as i was like do you want to see prototypes <gasps> everybody's face just lit up and they all crowded around and i definitely have some pictures from that wednesday morning we all had to be up really early because it was excursion day and you guys in um, this time of year in cabo they almost never ever ever have any rain well wednesday was an exception and it turned out to be a pretty rainy day however I think it worked out for the best so there were three different excursions that we could choose from that were included you know in our all-expense-paid trip that we had earned 
um, to Mexico. So one of the options was to go camel riding and they were going to take you to a camel sanctuary. You got to ride camels. There was a tequila tasting and they did something else. That one sounded really fun and the girls have the best pictures with the camels. Um, the second option was to do a city tour. I did not opt for the city tour because it was eight hours long and I just have commitment issues. <laughs> so I couldn't do that. But a ton of people went on the city tour and it worked out really great that it was overcast because if it was not overcast and a little bit drizzly, I think they would have been super duper hot. But they got to tour a glass blowing place, watch some things get hand blown. I know some people got some custom pieces blown right there in front of them. Um, what else did they do? I think they also got a tequila tasting. Of course they got to do lots of shopping, which is another reason that I never choose the city tour because I like to shop and anyway, blah, blah. So my option that I had chosen was whale watching. So we got up at 7 a.m., went and had breakfast, and then we got to the lobby at 7.50 like we were supposed to to report to our whale watching tour. Well, it ended up getting canceled because the weather, while was acceptable for those other tours, really wasn't that great for us being out on an open boat in the middle of the ocean. So, that was fine. It worked out really well though because Kara Lee was part of our excursion and so Kara Lee let us go back um, to her suite and she showed us a couple sneak peeks that I can't tell you anything about, but you're going to see them very soon. Um, okay, so our whale watching tour was pushed to Thursday morning, which worked out really great because Thursday was the most glorious sunny day and we were out on a catamaran as opposed to the smaller boat we were supposed to do the day before. So it all worked out for the best. And I definitely have some videos. I'm getting ahead of myself because this is tomorrow that I'm talking about already, but I definitely have some videos of the whales that I will share with you in this video. Back to Wednesday excursion day when my excursion was canceled. Um, we did hibachi for dinner. Well, we, I, and a small group of people did hibachi for dinner, but I freaking love hibachi so very much. And our hibachi guy was one of the most talented shows I have ever seen put on. Like, he bounced the yoke on his spatula. I think he did 33 or 34 times. Flip. Flipping it. A yoke before it broke. An egg yolk, I mean, insane. The skills are just insane, I can't even. Um, okay, so Wednesday night's after party was my favorite after party. And if you do not know about the Facebook group on Facebook, Facebook group on Facebook called Quarantine Karaoke, you need to pause this video and go find it on Facebook right now. Um, shout out to Ashley LaVon Effinger cause she was on um, the trip to Cancun just a couple months, maybe five months, three months. I don't know when we went to Cancun. It was maybe September, October. Anyway, Ashley was in Cancun and we had an after party at my suite there and I came home and there were a bunch of people at my house. I call it my house, you know, my room, whatever, um, singing karaoke. And I was like, oh, hello everybody. But it was the best night there. And so I had to recreate it here in, um, wherever we were, Cabo. So Quarantine Karaoke is this giant group on Facebook. There's like 700,000 members. I did not tell the girls that were singing that night about that part. <laughs> but anyway, anybody and everybody can go live in Quarantine Karaoke at any time. And so it's just kind of a nice thing while we're all staying at home, except for when I go to Cabo. Uh, that people can pop on and just watch others singing karaoke. There's people that are super professionals. There are people like me that are a little bit pitchy slash screechy, but it's still having a fun time. Anyway, we went live in quarantine karaoke and a ton of us sang and danced and it was so much fun. We didn't leave that room until about 2.45 a.m. So yeah, I was excited about my whale watching get, getting rescheduled for Thursday, but also I had none sleep, like I got about four hours of sleep that night before whale watching. <sighs> anyway, we got to the whale watching thing. The catamaran was gorgeous. The whole sailing was a little gorgeous. I had a little bit of fireball sloshing around in my belly that day. So I got a little bit sicky on the catamaran, but then I rallied and was right back to 100 by the time the trip was over, like the catamaran trip was over. So. Uh, I, my apologies to my catamaran riders that needed to hear me get a little bit sicky, but thank you to everybody for taking such good care of me. I immediately had water and everything that I needed, so 
Shout out to friends that take care of friends. Hi, the whales! Whales. Come back, whales. Yeah, that's what he said. Where are you at? Come back up. Hi, buddy. Oh, So after we got back from our whale watching, again, it was the most picturesque, glorious, sunny day. It was a perfect pool day. And so we all rushed to get changed and hopped in the pool. Everybody was all spread out around the pool. The pool waiters were outstanding. They brought us food, drinks, anything you needed. They were really outstanding. Um, it was time to get ready for the farewell dinner already. You guys, this trip felt very short. I need these trips to be longer. So posh home office, if you're watching, we need longer trips. <laughs> um, we got ready for the fa farewell dinner. It was a tropical um, themed buffet, which was my favorite meal of the whole trip. I loved everything. The decor was amazing. We had such a nice little, you know, just dinner la 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 and then the DJ turned it up and we got to dancing and I do have one dancing video that I jumped out of line to grab of everybody because it was just so much fun <laughs> nothing better than having a whole bunch of girlfriends on the dance floor together, right? It, it truly made me feel like I was back in high school. Only good memories. And then of course we had our last after party, which was much more tame than the night before with quarantine karaoke, just because everybody was headed home the next day. So I think it's just, it's hard to super, you know, let loose when you know you've got to pack and travel the next day. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was the end of the trip. Wow, this has been a really long recap. I feel like I need to do a separate video of just my room drops. So if you're here for the room drops, stay tuned. That'll be in another video. <laughs> Overall, the trip was truly amazing. This trip, um, this incentive trip to Cabo was truly geared towards our newer posh people that had just joined recently, um, the lower ranks within posh. And so it was very achievable for them. And I'm so super honored that I was able to join them and get to know a lot of them because I did not know, like I said, many of the people on the trip, but now coming home, I have so, so, so many new friends. Oh gosh. And I just need everybody to earn the trip to Jamaica. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, we are actually in the middle of an incentive earning period right now that just kicked off on January 1st. It runs through the end of March and you can earn an all expense paid trip to Jamaica. And we're going to be attending that trip to Jamaica in June. I actually earned the trip to Jamaica whilst I was in Cabo, so. Oh, I should give away the prototypes. We're gonna give away the prototypes. So I'm gonna say you need to be a subscriber to my channel. You need to give a thumbs up to this video. You need to be, um, I don't know, a posh, posh person. I guess, do you need to be a posh person? If you're not a posh person and you're watching this and you got this far, I think it's time that you just head on over to jessicaposh.com and sign up. <laughs> or if you know a posh person, sign up under that. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna give this bag of prototypes away to one lucky watcher of this video. Comment down below your favorite um, story 
that I told about the trip or maybe, um, yeah, your favorite story, like your favorite part that you would have liked to be part of. And if you were on the trip, tell me what your favorite part of the trip was. And one lucky winner, I will pull a winner, let's see, next Sunday. Today is Sunday. Hopefully I can get this edited and uploaded today. Next Sunday is uh, January 31st, I think, unless that's today. I'm pretty sure it's not end of month today. January 31st, I will pull a winner and I'll announce it down in the description box below and then I'll get these prototypes mailed out to you. Now these, uh, full disclosure, these may have already become products. They may never become products. They may just be a different version of something that became a product, but it's kind of fun to see you know, how we arrive at the products that we arrive at. So anyway, one lucky winner is going to get this bag of prototypes. Be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and make a comment down below telling me your favorite story from my recap. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now I will catch you in my next video, which is going to be going over my room drops, which I have piled up back there.